and park legally. I'm not doing anything wrong. Uh, I just like to be left alone. All right, I just gotta get, is this your car? I'm not gonna ask any questions. I'm gonna okay. invoke my Fourth Amendment right. In New Jersey, or yes. any state, you have to provide your name and information. But do I have a Fourth Amendment right? Can you answer that? Do you suspect me of committing a crime or a, or a moving violation? I can't determine that. So, so the answer is no. What's happening? Clara Lobby here, and today we want to spotlight someone who has really proven to be a heavyweight in the arena of exercising their freedoms during police interactions. Absolutely. That person is none other than LAC Audits, and today we are going to spotlight a situation out of Pennsville, New Jersey, where police approached this man's vehicle over a reported 911 call for a suspicious vehicle that was parked on the roadway. That is true, and as you will see in this video, the vehicle is in fact parked legally on a public road, and that beyond that, no other traffic infractions or crimes have been committed. So with that, guys, get ready to check out this individual exercise his First Amendment rights to public photography, his Fourth Amendment right to not surrender his name, his license, his registration, or other vehicle records, and his Fifth Amendment right not to answer any police questions and remain silent at multiple instances. There is no question that this citizen has read up on his constitutional rights. No question at all. And with that said, check out this very wild police encounter, again, out of Pennsville, New Jersey. What's going on, guys? Hey, what's up, buddy? I got a call for a suspicious car that's been here okay. for some time. Okay. and. I'm here to check it out, make sure everything's good. Hey, before we start, can I get a name and badge number? Sure, Officer Hill, badge number 548. And what department are you from? Pennsville. And where's that located? Here. No, no, the address. 90 North Broadway. 90 North Broadway, okay. So you said you got a call about a suspicious car, and what yeah. else? Suspicious vehicle, uh -huh. and that's it. Okay. That's been parked here for quite some time. I'm just here to check it out. I'm parked legally, I'm mm -hmm. not doing anything wrong, and I just like to be left alone. Okay. Because, you know, as you know, we're American citizens and we don't have to explain ourselves to, to people what we're doing if we're not doing breaking the law, right? Right. So that's all I told the individual and quite frankly, man, I just like to be left alone to be a free citizen. Okay. Yeah? Yeah. All right, I just got to get, is this your car? I'm not going to ask any questions. I'm going to okay. invoke my Fourth Amendment right. Can I get your name, sir? You don't have to ask any questions. Yeah. Okay. This is not a Terry stop, as you know. Yeah, I know, it's just I'm conducting an yeah. investigation. No, I know, but still. I gotta get information on who I'm talking to. No, so. you don't. Brung v, I do. Brung v. Texas states that just because you got a call that didn't give you any probable cause or reasonable articulable okay. suspicion of a crime, you don't have the right to identify anyone. I, you're fine to do whatever you, whatever you please, okay? So then, okay, so like you said, I'm fine. Yeah. Well, why would you say that you have to get the idea of everyone in the car when you know that that's against the law? I to identify tell everyone someone. the same thing when I'm conducting an investigation. Is that common like practice? To... Is that what Is I that do? Is that common practice? Yeah, like... yeah. Okay. if I'm conducting an investigation, I'd like to get the name of everyone that I'm, ta that I'm talking to. In New Jersey, or yes. any state, you have to provide your name and information during an investigation or even a motor vehicle stop, okay? Okay. I know the R of the car is... That's all I'm trying to confirm is that's who you are, so we can get out of here. So you send in an investigation, I have to legally provide my name. Yes. And if I consult my attorney, they'd, they'd say the same. Correct. And that's not true. Do you suspect me of committing a crime? Let's start with that. RAS. We need RAS, right? Okay. RAS, reasonable articulable suspicion of a crime. Do you suspect me of committing a crime? Did someone call and specifically say that I committed a crime? I'm just asking specifically, you. Specifically, what crime would that be? You tell me. Well, we you were, were here. Someone we called you for me. Stating that you were sitting out in front of the house Correct. for several hours. Is that and a that's crime? We're just trying to find out what's going on because we had a house in this area that has nothing to do with me. Is that a crime? Well, I can't associate that. All I'm trying to do is get you out of here so we all can go about our way. But do I have a Fourth Amendment right? Can you answer that? What would that be to? You tell me. You're the officer. You know what a Fourth, fourth I'm Amendment is. I'm saying this right? doesn't violate that Fourth Amendment. It does. Right. No, if you force me to identify, it does. Well, because you're. Driving motor vehicle. I'm not driving a motor vehicle. My vehicle is parked. So you're still occupying a motor vehicle. I can't occupy a motor can parked operate. vehicle. I can't operate, but, but I'm you not. You can operate, but it still is the same. It's not the you same. Have the, you have the right to operate it. 
okay. on a public street. But can I commit a moving violation while parking? No, but you can't commit so, a parking violation. So, am I committing a parking violation? I don't know yet, because I don't know if you're the registered owner of this I'm going to invoke my Fifth so Amendment right... I don't right. know if you have a driver's license. I'm going to invoke my Fifth Amendment right to remain silent without a lawyer present to and answer any questions. While remaining silent? Sure. While remaining silent? Sure. I just need you to provide me your proper driving documentation. I'm not going to provide any documents since I didn't break you any definitely laws. definitely have to provide a driver's license. I'm not license, going to provide any documents since I didn't break any laws. insurance for the vehicle. At this point in time, I'm going to remain silent. Okay. We're kind of, we're kind of in pass here. And I'm trying to make this as easy for everybody as possible. I get your frustration. I get it. I'm at the same level. Listen, honestly. the next step is litigation if you violate my rights. And on the oath, you're going to have to answer these questions in front of a jury, okay? I'm not going to ask any questions moving forward, okay? I invoke my Fifth Amendment right to remain silent so without the presence straight. of an attorney. You're not going to provide a driver's license, registration, or Do you suspect me of committing a crime or a, or a moving violation? I can't determine that. So, so the answer is no. If your driver's license is valid. Do you suspect me of committing you're a crime or a moving violation? I can provide... The documentation. Do you suspect me of committing a crime or a moving violation? Yes or no? I don't know yet. So you don't know? No, so because I can't provide your Do your investigation. Mm -hmm. Talk to whoever you have to talk to. Which review, we have. And the review final your, step here is what to make sure you have a valid license. No, you don't get to go in the place determining who. You know, I do. Because you I'm not even going to speak anymore. You did got, you, you see me? Points, did right? you see me arrive here? Huh? Did you see me drive here? Your neighbors did. But did you? Are they police I didn't officers? Need to. It doesn't matter. All right, listen. You got here somehow, right? Supervisor, please. I am. It's right here. You're a supervisor, here. please. Yes. You're a supervisor. No, we, that's it. This is me. <laughs> fifth. Fifth Amendment. Okay. Invoke my fifth. I invoke my fourth. And I invoke my First Amendment right also. Are we, are we okay? Said, yeah. So here's, here's what we're going to do. Sure. Okay? Because I really don't want this massive headache of whatever's going on. Okay. Obviously, this car is registered in New Jersey, right? So we can pull the registration, see who the RO is, and see if the RO matches your picture in the DMV system. It's public plate, right? Public license plate. So, yeah, you guys right, have the right exactly. to do that. Right, yeah. Okay. So, to me, that's the easiest way to resolve the whole matter. And I just think so, too. All of us going about our way, right? Perfect. Okay. I'm okay with that. That worked for you? Yep. You have a good one. I We're going to get out of here. All right. Thank you very much, man. Yep.